Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to do a new guide on jungle buffed Tlia jungle We're going to do it obviously in flex against uh, platinum diamond players We're gonna see how Tlia works in the context of the new buffs uh, They wanted to add armor and to reduce the size of the circle that those are removed from the PBE And so the only buff that passed is uh, this buff which uh, is full damage to jungle minions So we're gonna play Tlia jungle, we're gonna start blue, we're gonna try that. We're going to be against Kane, which is one of the difficult junglers, but not one that can actually assassinate you early on. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start here. We're gonna see, we're gonna probably try to do this, we're gonna try to do a full clear to see how it feels. For runes I play with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Celerity and Water Walking and these rune stats. I'm not sure if uh, this is the best combination because you could also go for other stuff such as Transcendence, such as Nimbus Cloak. Uh, water Walking I think is best in slot, the other one you choose. You can also go for something like uh, Presence of Mind if you feel like you don't have enough mana. And so that's... Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I enjoy the damage right now. Uh, I don't want to do a full Q onto this, but I want to do a full clear to see how it feels. Should have start W though to push him away, but till now it feels pretty, pretty good. I think I'm gonna use Smite on the guy. Yep, gonna get some heal back. Gonna move to uh, the Wolves. Gonna try to do a full clear, just for the sake of it. Okay, I missed the Q there, that was bad. Gonna try to kite as best as I can. And let's get the little one first, okay. Let's move here, a bit to the side. You can't really kite the big wolf, but yeah. We're gonna go, we talked runes now, with, let's talk build. We're gonna go for Ludens, into Sork Shoes, into something like Zonia probably. Okay, we have already a first blood on top, that's bad. But look at the HP, man. I'm full HP. That feels. That's gotta be feel good. Like, it feels pretty good. And oh boy. Yeah, well, he won. But he died. <laughs> right. Gonna go here and gonna flash instantly if Kane comes. But the the red buff you can actually kite. All right. Gonna smite. Look at that. I'm, I'm actually, look, I'm actually full HP almost after a clear. Oh boy, top lane is getting destroyed. Kane hasn't even been on the map yet, but man, this feels good. Now I want to go and gank. Yeah, I think I think Twitch seen me. Okay, got him. Slow him. Auto attacks slows. I don't think I can escape this. Yeah, I can't escape this. And uh, Wukong got the kill. I got the kill on Twitch, uh, but looks was low HP. We got the teleport, though. I hope uh, there will be some uh, changes from this guy. Some uh, damage. All right, some well, stuff. Gonna go for two of this. Uh, yeah, not having boots yet, gonna go for a control ward, and I'm gonna keep farming. Uh, I think Kane has the ability to go uh, to go from scuttle to scuttle because of that, and it's fine. I could have flashed out, I probably could have lived, probably could have got also more. So that, that went fine, but then again Wukong controls a large side of the game just by winning so hard. And now I'm gonna get this, um, we're gonna talk about itemization a bit. Uh, as LS said on his latest video, Tilia struggles because she has no real build pot and uh, I'm coming but, but man you're gonna die here. Okay, good, 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 good. I think he has a word here. No? Come on, get him, get him. Okay. Ah, 
But it's fine, it's fine. Camille? Camille should get the kill, right? Get the kill. Woohoo! That's fine. That was an immense advantage for us. So, as LS said, uh, because Tulia has to go for Lost Chapter, quite mandatory, Lost Chapter doesn't provide that much and it's quite expensive. It's a thousand and three hundred gold. Basically, this item doesn't provide that much for jungling. And that's why Tulia may not be in a good spot. And AP junglers in general who has to go for something like that's made from Lost Chapter. Uh, so, yeah. These items being very expensive, actually causing some issues with this, with the uh, itemization, but farming right now feels pretty good so that's uh, that's the important thing the farming feels pretty good and let me just not twitch helping too much okay yes was let i think i could flank twitch but uh, i'm gonna be gonna be far away i'm just gonna farm because keeping with the farm keeping the farm up being ahead in farm and eventually more and more ahead that's what you gotta do if you don't really manage to get kills but we did toe to toe we go toe to toe against that cane and it felt pretty good and also look at the farming speeds man this is much more beautiful than before i'll give you that it's it's a decent pretty decent buff and i really hope her win rate will increase i don't think she will be as tier because because of the top that we just did but she definitely is uh, in a better place. You have ult? Got another stack of Dark Harvest. There is a Twitch coming. There is a Wukong coming. There is everyone. Okay. Nice. It's still Wukong. It's still the Wukong that's missing. So I have to be careful. Okay, he went back. I think he got this Cuttle. No, he didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Alt. Nice. Let's push. So we start to do these good trades that actually help us win. And if uh, Kane comes here, we have Camille. It's a low HP Camille. I think uh, he has time to actually take it. That's no, fine. There is a vision word there. He got the scuttle. It's fine. But we are having already 5 stacks of Dark Harvest and this blue buff does the work of the blue buff. And I could perhaps move towards the... Oh, this, the You're gonna hear me make these sounds on the video because uh, <laughs> it feels so great to have this damage against minions. And look, I'm ahead in CS, I'm ahead in farm, in, uh, in experience, so I'm doing pretty fine. Oops. There is a Yasuo that's coming, so that's why I'm playing like this. Alright, okay, now he's there. I can't go there, because he's expecting me in that bush. But I could probably do a lane gank. Wait, let me just plant this. Okay, he walked away. We have time, we have time, we have time. I would follow, but I'm a bit afraid that... Uh, ah, they, he got Drake, actually. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're still heavily ahead in gold. I have this word. I don't think he moved here. But I could probably help them more. And on mid, he's doing pretty fine. And as you can see, we're doing rotations, rotations. It's okay to actually lose the first Drake uh, if you focus on getting that mid spike, that Ludens, that I'm gonna ignore that. So it's fine in that context. So now we could probably create here again. We're going to recall only when we have enough gold for Ludens, that's 300 more gold. I don't think... I don't think he's... Uh, Wukong may be, getting, may be ganking him. Okay, it's fine. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Yeah, Twitch is back on bot. So I wanna go there. Kane is also there. Yeah, it's fine. This is fine. I don't think they have a word here, which would actually help me immensely if Kane would move towards it. Okay, nice. Auto attack, auto attack, full Q, 
flash. He escaped because I played I played it awfully. I could have got the kill there. I could have definitely got the kill there, man. We also got the kill on mid, we also get the scuttle, because we baited the scuttle with this. We have a lot of gold now. This feels great, man. And you know what else feels great? Getting a free kill on Twitch. Or, <laughs> or Lux getting a free kill on Twitch. Okay, so we have enough gold now to actually go back. We have a level advantage, which feels great. 7 kill participation out of uh, 11, which is a lot. Much more than Kane's. And top is still losing, but that's okay, I suppose. So we got this. We also, we can't really go yet for Sork Shoes. But what we can do is get a Vision Ward, switch to this, and get a stopwatch. We could get a stopwatch. And this stopwatch will actually be useful against the Kane, against the Yasuo, perhaps. Uh, boy, you're dead. If you hit that, it would have been good, but you didn't. Okay, going back here, I have the... I have the uh, stopwatch, so I'm fine. Okay, got him. Got him! Let's go, boy. See, that, that's the stopwatch that I was talking about. There's a Twitch that's coming to me. So I'm just gonna recall. I'm level 10. I'm gonna do the top side, then I'm gonna move both side. Uh, maybe there is a Wukong that waits for me, so I'm using my red trinket. So yeah, that's, that's pretty fine. I could have gone for the Herald and get some plates. That would have been an option, but I really like the raw power farm. Because I know I eventually deal a lot of damage and burst with the insane Dark Harvest stacks. I'm 600 gold now into the bounty. I'm doing this again. I'm missing CS like that. But it doesn't even matter, look how good it feels. 30 CS, 2 levels ahead, rough, sort of. Gonna get the rights. And I'm gonna play around mid, because they are playing around mid. Because Kane wants to keep ganking the Darius. And I like the fact that I have infinite mana. Okay, that guy died. I'm having lags. Don't know why I have these frame drops. <laughs> Actually set it up perfectly for for him. Camille has died and I have enough here to get this with a full combo. I'm going from this side. So I'm level 11 by the way. Got so much advantage. This is their strongest champion, theoretically. He should be able to defeat me. But I am far too ahead at this point. And now look what wins also. With the phase lock spot. Whatever this is. I think they get the kill. That's that's a bonkers combo. But I think he dies. So yeah, I got the Zonia now. I got the Zonia now. And ooh, <laughs> another teleport from the Wukong. He really tries to to save his team although this time it wasn't so worth they can get they can get here drake i think they will because i'm theoretically one versus two now why do i have this insane frame drops though so i'm gonna position myself here i'm gonna cast an e i'm gonna cast a w i'm gonna miss it I'm gonna fight them both, but I know Twitch is coming, so I gotta be relatively careful. But what's good is now that I've uh, made Wukong go back and Kane go back, I could actually start this Drake and try to take it. Look at the damage, man. I don't have Smite, so that might be a mistake because I'm doing it without. But Jesus, I did it in what? 10 seconds? What was that? was insane oh I'm bad I could have no 
Oh, that was bad. Darius could have got more, but he got a huge shutdown. Ah, he's dead. And Camille, I think, gets the kill onto the Asso, I hope. Nice. Yeah, I played, I misplayed that. But if he leaves... Uh, why did you turn? You would have lived. Wait. <laughs> that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. We're going, we're doing great. We're three levels ahead of the enemy jungler. I have 12 out of 20 kill participation, the most in the game, I think. Yeah, Wukong is the one that's close. And, oh my god, she actually, <laughs> she actually sniped him. We need 300 more gold for the, uh, for the boots. And yeah, the build is pretty strong. You've seen how much I am alive extra time because of the Zonia, because of the act active, right? Uh, I'm going like this because I want to see if I could get Twitch. But I don't think I could. Uh, I see him. But I think I just want... I want the Scuttle because it's the most gold ratio. Back off. I think Camille is dead. Why is he's not going bot? Okay, we're gonna get this. After that, we're moving towards the red. And I can see I didn't have any issues with the mana, partly because, uh, partly because there was no, how can I say, no need of prolonged fight. Look at that, I'm killing the minion while he's actually retreating here. That's insane. I've seen, I've said insane too many times, right? <laughs> okay. I should have been on the other side of the map. I could get. Okay, maybe there are too many. But we're gonna see. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I agree. I agree with the reset. How is that flash good? Hmm? How was that flash good? Everyone in your team is dying now. Uh, not, I'm not reaching him. <laughs> but yeah, we won that very hard. Still, three levels, keeping the three levels ahead. We went two versus four in. I still have the zone, I didn't even need it. I could go for the Herald now, because it's pretty much free. And I really like the survivability, because normally a 7 kills, a 7 kills uh, Wukong, I need to go mid, would have destroyed me. Chase the kills, man. We chase the kills. I'm getting permanently CC. Q and he's on. let's see how fast we can take Herald as a fed to Lia jungle. Okay. So that's two Qs. Man, he's already half HP. That's very good. I don't have that. Yeah, okay. Alright, get that. Do a full Q. Do a Okay. Kane is maybe around. Nah, man. It's mine, man. It's mine. This and the scuttle. Let's see how fast we can <laughs> go through the scuttle very fast. Okay, Drake up. I think I can get the Drake as well. But I shouldn't have smite it, man. Why? That's a reflex. Because now I don't have smite for Drake. It's a minute cooldown onto the Drake. But we could do it if we are keeping the cane away. I have. As many kill participation as their total kills, and I have four kills advan four levels advantage now. So it would be from a standpoint pretty stupid for the cane to actually try to fight me here. So I'm just gonna let the team fight. Should we? I'm gonna join. Okay. I had to help. Oops. Accidentally press that. Yeah. 
I'm in a pretty rough spot. speed in river movement speed in river man the cell feel I can't even kill what's one three levels advantage with with four levels advantage I can't kill a 36k in with instant burst but that's sort of normal because I have look look at that gold yeah I could have played better Overall, I'm pretty pissed about it, but we're in a pretty good spot to carry this game, so... Sork Shoes, we go for Rabadons, we sell this, go to Vision Words, we could actually start thinking on Baron. And yeah, that was a very bad fight from top to bottom. I like the fact that te technically every time there is a Twitch support, he becomes the ADC. <laughs> Mm, man, guys, let's just, let's just, we have complete control over them, in terms of, of objectives, of everything. Uh, Wukong is not that ahead to carry, and generally Wukong can carry with only these items. And I have soon Zonia again, that will be enough to secure a Baron. But if you get caught like this, obviously, obviously the Wukong would carry. Yeah, I missed everything there. <laughs> I think Yasuo is AFK or something. Okay, I moved the... Okay, come under tower, boy. Fight me. Ah! Too much burst from the Twitch. Definitely too much burst from the Twitch. Because I could have got him. I could have got the cane. But there is too much burst from... I'm trading. I'm trading kills. And that's not okay. Darius got caught again. I should stick to Darius. If I stick to Darius, he will have time to stack up. He will have time to kill someone. And we have time to kill. I got this, but we need also to get Oblivion Orb against the cane. So, blue, this, bam. They also have more tricks than us because of these fights. So you can see dying, not an option, especially when you have a huge bounty. But yeah, they aren't, they aren't that strong if you catch the Twitch. If we put our jungler, uh, on our, sorry, that's me, <laughs> our mid laner and top laner on Twitch, that's all we gotta do. I could keep farming, I could keep creating advantages. If he stays bot, we enjoy that. And Camille keeps scaling. Camille keeps doing these scale ups. We can't really lose this, can we? Okay. Can we. Oops. Didn't meant that. But why is Darius doing red while they break our base? Ah. Okay, I think we won here. That was a pretty bad pretty bad uh, fight but guys guys come on yeah we need someone to get rid the cane of the cane because he will try to steal okay get him problem is I used I actually used uh, smite there so we don't have smite for this fight. So I'm gonna put this. No, he can steal. No! I use smite. That's my mistake. <laughs> no. But this actually opens up the the Drake. So 
all in all, decent. Could have been better, but decent. I knew I knew that would happen. Uh, you're not even dealing damage, man. So I'm hoping Twitch would come here, right? That was a good predict. Very, very good predict. We, we now have just to survive to get this and next Baron and we won. So we move here, we cast this. Right, we see the entire map. We can, we can actually steal this from Camille uh, or not. Get this for free. Because obviously now Kane is far away and can't do they if they fight for it, they are insane. Okay, and we can actually jump and catch someone else. Okay, they aren't here. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Look how annoying Kane is, man. But luckily we have the burst. Luckily we have the burst. I think I can actually get the Twitch. If he comes into the rain. Okay, I see. Yeah, I want, I want to wait. 3, 2, 1, now. Ah. Yeah, I wanted Fizz to get it, but I'm not really enjoying that pressure. Okay. Well, we can we can back off, man. We can back off. It's fine. I also gonna get the orb, so we have 29 out of Jesus. The 40 kill participation. That's a lot. 28 stacks of Dark Harvest. Think about it. And I'm gonna post I'm gonna post the full video on this one. I generally like to do some sort of highlights maybe. But for this one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, that's a showstopper. I'm gonna fly here. Not gonna die, gonna cast Zonia. He's gonna protect me. That went well. That was ballsy. Oops, recalling on a word. That's fairly suicidal. Okay, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Gonna heal a bit. Look at that heal. Half HP from Ravenous. Right now we can run them down. Good flash. I'm healing a lot. Uh, I'm speaking generally to get Relentless Hunter into the mid lane, but into the jungle because you fight so many jungle minions, you're constantly fighting them. Then it's a good it's a good argument to actually go for that. It's a pretty good argument to. I'm dead. Man, that damage. But it's fine. It we're gonna probably lose the fight, or not? Okay, Kane is dead actually. And dead. He's four nine and he's dead, and he's actually still the strongest champion in their team. <laughs> and ouch, guys, we could back off. Okay, now there's a choice: Moramicon versus Kemtesh Purifier. So. Both of them are good, but the extra HP or the extra ability haste? Mm, ability haste means more skews and the Q has already a low cooldown, but I don't know. HP sounds better because we need to be more tanky, so with that in mind, we can also get the giant's belt, why not? We're gonna see what we make out of it, but we're gonna need the next Drake, next Baron, and we're gonna end the game there. Long game, but pretty beautiful actually. I've stopped farming by the way at some point, but I still have 50 CS advantage, he stopped farming as well. But if you don't stop farming, you could actually go for 10 CS a minute. I'm not joking, you can go for 10 CS a minute as a Talia, as a Talia main, because 
It's the similar to Lila. You have the clear speed of Lila, which is insane as well. I'm gonna cast this. Go around here, gonna get this. I'm gonna go into this patch to predict the fact that Wukong will move here. And I think I think he moves here. No? Okay, I'm gonna get it. I can win this mine battle now though, because I'm again a lot of levels ahead. I'm level 18, again highest level in the game for a long time. We can pass the Drake for the Baron because we're gonna end game if we get Baron. Come on. I think I can I'm curious if I can solo it. Guys. Okay, they've seen me. I'm pissed because this was free. Okay, I think I can still get it. No, don't damage it. Nice! Lux MVP? Lux MVP? Okay. We lost to Drake, but I think we break the base now in multiple multiple places. I could have died there. But yeah. At this point I no longer scale in any way. Because I'm level 18, I at this point I reach my maximum, right? I can only get items, but we can break the base. We can get two Maybe three inhibitors. I don't think we can end. Because Wukong is coming up soon. I could smite that. Get this. Heal a bit from this. But you heal much more from the camps. Okay. Even though Baron is up. With, with three inhibs. That's pretty much game over for them. Regardless of how well they play. Okay. Let's back off. Let's back off. Yeah, let's ignore that. Wukong going greatly dead. Ugh, that happened. Okay. Now I have Zonia, so I have to be careful to the Twitch. Okay. Let's clear them a bit. I don't think we can finish. Because we can't get close to the Ash spamming stuff. Man, that Ash, by the way. Look at that, one Q to get Gromp into the mid to late game. 237 CS, which is quite low, could be better. Honestly, I think Kane will come here. So if you were to predict, he's gonna cast this... Ah, he has Permadash, can't get him. But the base is broken. Uh, they won't leave base. Let's let's get it. Okay, go. Let's go. Insane damage all around. I need to be careful. Kane doesn't leave that, so we're just gonna get it for free, and we're gonna end. I'm not even gonna recall, even though that's what you should generally do. Okay, smite, and let's end. Let's just end because Kane will actually keep scaling and scaling and scaling and become so annoying. And we couldn't actually do much, but we need to get Twitch. Because Twitch is the main damage dealer in their team. Wukong just flashed and also I have lags. So my reaction time will be bad. Don't know why. I had lags and frame drops whole day. It's probably from the patch optimization. Look at that. Okay, fine. He flashed, he failed. We can get the Yasuo. We can cast here a full combo onto the cane. Hold. Get on top of Ash. Get on top of Wukong. Triple kill for K Camille. I think double kill for me. Oh, triple kill for me. Nice. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I don't even need to tell you at this point that likely I did the most damage, so if you would do some post-game analysis, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful now compared to before. 
So Tlia buffs are coming in for jungle. It feels better, it feels much better. I don't think she'll go she's going to be S tier, but she's at least B to A tier. A tier I think she can be if you play properly. So I think she's close to be back into the game. I dealt 40k damage, which is not a lot. 50k almost, sorry. Yeah, now it's a lot. <laughs> uh but yeah the the champion feels pretty good now with the full the clear speeds and that's one thing that was a problem another problem is champions like kha'zix or hecarim can just run you down because if you don't play with something like nimbus and flash out instantly they can just chase you and without nimbus they can flash after you and that's going to be more difficult for you to live and against tanks you're going to generally do fine what is meta right now uh, what do you see every game? Graves. Against Graves you should be fine, because even though if he has kill pressure, he needs to wait for you somewhere, he needs to catch you by surprise to hit his Q early on. Uh, so that, yeah, that that's a decent, a pretty hard matchup because he scales better, but it's a doable one. Kane is also doable, but champions that try to kill you pre-level 8, that's going to be a problem. So Rengar, Skazix is Rengar is not in a good spot. Olaf might be one of the hardest ones if he is good with his Qs and ult. Because he's basically your version, but AD uh, with the Q. So Q spam, Q spam into your head. And what else? What else? We talked Hecarim. Hecarim, yeah, we said that. Uh, Amumu, if he's still strong in the, the state, in the state of the patch. He can be difficult, but tanks in general should be doable because you push them away. You can go for Lyandris, you can kite them with Ludens uh, if you choose that. But tanks should be dealt with with Demonic Embrace and Lyandris normally. So yeah, that's how Tlia Jungle feels right now, as you've seen on video. You can definitely do bigger plays. She's no longer going to be a 40% win rate champion for sure. I think she she can get up to 50%, but I don't think she's going to be 52, 55 with a lot of play rate. I think she's 49 to 50 somewhere there. That's a prediction. It's not gospel. I'm not sure that's going to happen. She might be good. She might be not. But I think as again as LS said, uh, her build path is a bit clunky. So even if you'd go for something like Everfrost, it would still feel bad because uh, you need the Lost Chapter. And without Lost Chapter, the other items will definitely feel bad because you don't have mana. If you don't go Lost Chapter, you're going to have to be forced into Presence of Mind. And if you still feel you don't, you need mana, even with Lost Chapter, you will have to go for Presence of Mind because in some games, you won't get blue buff. In some games, you won't get early lane pressure, as I did. You won't get a Darius into Yasuo on mid or a Camille into Wukong on top, which theoretically should be a doable matchup. Uh, you, you may get some nasty matchup some hard counters that you can't really deal with them and you're gonna drop pressure but because uh be because now you have this power of damaging minions uh, monsters sorry you're going to be better without the blue buff so this definitely will increase the win rate but i think they should change a bit the armor because she has one of the lowest armor game armor stats in the game if i'm if I recall correctly, but against AP matchups, it should be fine. Against a lot of matchups, it should be decent at least. So it's not going to be troll anymore to pick this champion at least. So I'm Drumot. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you learned things from these guides. And see you next time. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye, guys.